Hey friends! I'm back with another plan with me. This one's for November 1st through November 7th. It is always so satisfying when a week and a month begin on a Monday. Just visually, what's more appealing than this? So, because it is November, we are putting spooky season to rest. Womp womp womp, RIP spooky season. But that means now we can focus on all fall, all the time. Well, for the time being anyway. As such, this week I am using a kit from Beautiful Planning. This kit is called Maple, and I feel like that's a pretty great name for this kit because you got the maple leaves, you got the colors, everything just screams fall. Now, I do have a code for you guys for Beautiful Planning's shop. You can use the code MAMAFRIENDLY15, and that gets you 15% off all of the kits in her shop. She just dropped a bunch of new Christmas things, New Year's Eve kits, so go check it out. And while you're there, you can get yourself a fun little discount. And as usual, I did the crop method, which means that, you know, the kits come with seven or eight or nine pages worth of stuff, and I don't need all that. I am a very simple planner. I don't need every little bit of space filled up, so, I kind of Tetris the stickers that I'm pretty sure I'm going to use into as few pages as possible and that way I save not only sticker paper but ink as well. So if you want to see how I do that, I always have my crop method video linked in the description box of every planner video. So let's go ahead and show you what I'm working with. First off, we have these full boxes. There were way more than these to pick from, but as far as the art, these were my eight favorites. So that's what I went with. We also have our washi down here. On this second page, I've got my date covers and my date numbers, our glitter headers, almost forgot what these were called. They're all extremely similar, like just very subtle differences between the colors. So um, now that I'm looking at all of them, I'm probably gonna leave this one out because these three feel like, you know, stronger colors. So that's what I'm gonna do. We have canceled and rescheduled stickers, quarter boxes, half boxes, my habit trackers, and then sidebar, longer full box situation here. Again, there were like three different arts that I could have, arts, that doesn't sound right, but three different kinds that I could have gone with and I chose this one because it was different to most of the art that I picked here in the full boxes. And then on this last page, I've got my deco and my weekend banner. I also have these YouTube stickers, which are stickers that are not from this kit specifically, but they are available in Beautiful Planning's shop under the functional stickers. So if these look like something that you could use, you can get your discount with those as well. And these are just quarter boxes that I added letters to to use for my son's therapy appointments. So. Go ahead and start like I always do and that's with my bottom washi and I really like the art that was chosen for this because it's like it starts out green over here but then you have much more of like oranges and browns happening throughout the rest of it so it's almost kind of showing the transition into fall and I know that like we're in November and technically fall starts what like in a October, September, but in case you're new, hi, but also I'm in South Florida. So over this past weekend, Halloween weekend, is really when we got our first like taste of fall weather. And what I mean by that is that it has finally stopped raining. The air is feeling drier and we're getting a lot more wind. And we even woke up one day over the weekend where the temperature was like 68 or 67, which is a pretty big deal down here. So officially we are transitioning into fall in South Florida. And so this kit just made perfect sense this week. So let's go ahead and get into our sidebar, which is how I usually do things. So we've got our full box there and we've got our really cute habit trackers. Just feel like the colors are so perfect for this kit. Everything is so like perfectly on theme. So we got four habit trackers. And I'm gonna finish my sidebar with one of these full boxes. I'm not gonna use the Hello Fall. Typically I would do that. I like when 
the sticker that I'm using up here has words on it because it just kind of feels like we're labeling or titling the kit based on what we see here. And actually this kit is not called Hello Fall, it's called Maple. But we already have Hello Fall here. So I kind of like the maple leaves, especially because the kit's called Maple. I feel like that's a good sort of call out, call back. You know what I mean. So now that that's done, our next step is to put down our date covers. And the kit does come with two different styles of the days of the week and two different styles of the numbers. And I tend to pick the combination that I feel will most contrast with each other. I don't like picking patterns for both because then I feel like it's too busy. But I believe that the other date covers or the other days, I suppose, were just the same solid like tan color and I don't want it to be washed out you know I, I don't want them to blend too much so that's why I went with this sort of plaid situation is that really a plaid you tell me what that pattern is called if not plaid but yeah we're gonna go ahead and put these down and then I think I'm gonna roll right into putting down my glitter headers since I've already kind of went through the process of which one I'm not choosing so yeah I'm gonna put these down put these down next and I'll meet you back here afterwards. Okay, so there's our glitter headers and our date covers. I really like the warmth, I guess, of all of these colors together. And like I've been saying, it's all extremely on trend for a fall kit. But now that I'm seeing everything down, I can't help but feel like I would have really liked maybe some of this sort of sagey green in the glitter headers, as well as all of these warm tones, you know? Because me personally, I could have done away with either one of these since they're kind of similar and used this like sagey green instead. And I feel like it would have tied all that in much better, but it's still beautiful. I still really like how it looks. So just a small observation on my part. And speaking of, Tuesday is election day and Sunday daylight saving time ends, which means we fall back. So that means we roll the clock back one hour we get an extra hour of sleep that night. What that means for my son is that he's gonna be up at six in the morning <laughs> instead of seven. Um, but you know, just throwing that out there because it was printed up here. As far as election day, I usually participate in every single election, local, you know, federal, etc. But this kind of snuck up on me because I'm registered and I have been since way before the pandemonium. I've been registered to do at home voting, like mail in voting. So they always send me a ballot way in advance. And that way I have time to like go through each thing, go through each um, candidate, but also go through each proposed bill or what have you. And that way I can really take my time, really research and vote the way that I feel most aligns with my values, right? But they didn't send me anything this time around. And so I'm wondering if they're just like, is there nothing to vote on locally for this election? Typically this is a smaller one because it's not one of the big like every two years type. So I'm wondering, <laughs> is it just me? Is it just where I am that there's nothing going on or did nobody receive any sort of mail-in things this year? So anyways, now that I've gone ahead and thrown that at you, let's put our full boxes down next. And these are all just so cute. I really, really love the pup. He just has such a sweet face. So, hmm, I don't know. I suppose they could all just pretty much go wherever. The only exception is I do want this Hello Fall all the way over here as far as I can make it from 
this because you guys know I don't like similar stickers being too close together and these are straight up identical but um, I think it makes sense though because this is when <laughs> we're rolling back the clock which means that officially it's when like nighttime is going to begin at like 4 30 in the afternoon from now on <laughs> and so that's a pretty big benchmark of oh yeah it's fall it's officially fall slash winter when you think oh wow the day really got away from me huh and no, it's just that it's four in the afternoon and the sun's already starting to set. There's still plenty of day left. It just doesn't look that way. So I really, I love this time of year because of the weather and all the gatherings, or at least, you know, typically all the gatherings and the gift giving and just everything. There's always something going on, you know, everything to look forward to and whatnot. But I must say that even with all of that the whole nighttime starting before dinner <laughs> that bit i've never really appreciated not a fan making sure to up my vitamin d for the next few months because um yeah my, my brain does not like so you guys know that my deco i always wait until the end of the week because i kind of just use it to fill in all the space after i've put down my therapy appointment stickers after the weeks elapsed and i've printed out my favorite photos from each day etc but what i am going to go ahead and do now is put down my youtube stickers so that if you're watching you can see what i'm planning to be up to this week as far as my uploads so of course today we have a plan with me, which is what you're watching right now. Tomorrow, you're gonna have a vlog that I recorded over Halloween weekend. And so the whole recap of what we did or didn't do <laughs> is gonna be in that vlog on Tuesday morning. This week's upload schedule is going to be pretty different than usual because I don't typically release videos on Wednesday unless there's a collab that I'm accommodating. So typically I skip Wednesday and then post a video on Thursday. But this week, I'm not posting a video on Thursday either. You're gonna have two days off because on Friday, I'm doing the pumpkin challenge. So if you've been following my channel for a bit, you know that every month, Tiffany from Small Town 6 has been challenging us to use a specific ingredient in a recipe or even to make a specific meal. And this month it's pumpkin. So I have a recipe coming out on Friday, 11 a.m. for that. On Saturday, you're gonna get your usual vlog because I do usually post vlogs. Well, I usually post them on Friday, but I'm moving into Saturday because collab. And then on Sunday, which I typically don't post on Sunday, but I will this week because we have another collab. So Jeanette from The Name is Jeanette, and I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance right now because while I was editing, I realized that I kept calling her Janet. No, no, her name is Jeanette. It's literally in the channel name. <laughs> so Jeanette is hosting a Friendsgiving collab and I made a recipe for that as well. So tune in on Sunday morning to check that out. But that's it for now. That's my week. That's what I have planned for now. I know things like to pop up, things get canceled, rescheduled, moved around, but this is what I'm going for this week so far. So I really like how it turned out. I think it's very pretty, very much seasonably appropriate. I'm hoping that the weather continues to cooperate so that I can get to sinking into more of that fall feeling and just letting it all wash over me. So in the spirit of that, I have two questions for you all. First off, like I said, you're gonna get my Halloween vlog tomorrow morning, but I would love to know what you did over Halloween weekend, how you spent it this year as opposed to last year, or even the year before, because I'm sure that all three have been very, very different. And second question, what's the weather like right now where you're at? So let me know where you live and let me know, is it cold? Is it windy? Is it still rainy? Are you getting snow already? Tell me all about it. I would love to live vicariously through you all. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click that notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.